Let's now shift our attention over to Australia, where capital city Canberra is on a high alert as bushfires continue to burn in nearby areas. Five cities have declared a state of emergency, while the skies in Australia continue to look apocalyptic. Smoke and dust have covered large parts of Melbourne. Local authorities have even warned that the soaring temperatures and strong winds could give birth to more bushfires. This is Canberra's first declared emergency since 2003, when wildfires killed four people and over 500 homes were burnt down. The issue we have with the fire activity is that the fire itself is generating its own weather pattern and that combined with uh, the wind direction is what is driving that intensity in the fire. Consequently, we've had to withdraw our firefighting efforts, direct firefighting efforts, which is why aerial attack is what we'll be undertaking alongside New South Wales this evening. Canberra falls under the state of New South Wales, which is witnessing at least 60 bushfires at the moment. One third of those fires are uncontained. Airplanes are releasing fire retardant in cities facing rampant wildfires. It's a relief that at this stage there's no homes lost, but we've still got a long night ahead of us. And, you know, five emergency alerts in the stage is, is a serious issue. Uh, unfortunately, we've seen this occur many times during this season, but we can't be complacent when you have this much fire activity on a day when the conditions are going to continue for the foreseeable uh, next couple of hours. 